Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It feels like a hot second since I filmed, I guess because it has been. Today we're just going to do a fall get ready with me, okay? Embracing the season that it is. Um, fall tones are my favorite type of tones. I've accepted that summer is over and I'm choosing to embrace the fall. So, let's do this obligatory fall get ready with me, shall we? So it's been a while since I have moisturized, so I'm going to just start with my Vichy Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. And then I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Before I go in with any foundation, I'm going to take my Sephora Luminizing, Radiant Luminizing Drops in the shade Morning Light. And I'm going, I guess I'll just take it on the dropper. I don't typically do this, but I just want to kind of put them underneath. Whoa, my foundation. Okay, this is why I don't do this. I'm not going to use them on the dropper. That's fine. Oh my god. Okay. I'm a mess. So I'm going to just buff this in with the highlighting brush that I use just on the high points of my face. I do this with the L'Oreal True Match like Lumi Glotion that I um, have right now. I, I use that in all different types of ways. So a lot of times I'll mix it into my foundation or sometimes I'll just put it underneath my foundation on the high points if I'm using like a sheerer foundation or... Okay, so we're going really glowy today because I pumped out way too much and now my forehead is all shiny. But yeah, sometimes I also put it underneath my foundation if I'm using a sheer foundation or a more radiant foundation or I just don't want to be glowy everywhere, which is what I'm going to be doing today. But we've gone extra glowy <laughs> today, apparently. It's good. It's fine. I'm not going to be wearing this makeup for that long anyway. And then for foundation, I'm going to use my Ordinary um, Coverage Foundation. I'm almost using it up, so I'm just taking it from the little tube here. Which actually, I've been getting so much use, extra use out of this product doing that. Like, there's so much extra product once it stops pumping out in these little bottles. All right. So I have my foundation on, we're looking really glowy. I'm just going to do my brows and then be back to do my eyes. Okay, hello, we are back, we are zoomed in. Today I'm going to be using a mixture of the Beauty Bay Wilderness Palette and the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette, which I think truly both embody fall in the best possible ways. So, I'm going to do a mustardy, greeny eye today. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to start with the shade Leaf from the Wilderness Palette. And I'm going to take this in the outer half of my eye. And just use this as a little bit of a transition shade. I always set my eyes and I always use the NARS Smudge Proof eyeshadow base. Because it's the best primer. I thought I would just do a little chit chat video. I feel like I had other videos planned, but this is just what I wanted to do. I just wanted to film, have a little sit down, be able to play with makeup again because, well, I guess I have been doing my makeup, but I haven't had a chance to just like be, take my time, like do my thing, be creative. My family, so all the different factions of my immediate family have visited me in the past like month 
in the span of a month and it's been lovely but it's been a lot for sure and now I am back to my regular regular life again I guess no more guests no more you know visiting um, which is you know sad but it's nice to get be able to get back into my routine now I'm gonna take the shade marigold from the wilderness palette and I'm gonna put this in the front part of my eye my dad and my brother and his girlfriend were here in August at the very end of August and the beginning of September and then we went on a camping trip after they left and then my grandparents came here my mom's like my mom's side grandparents came here to visit me and spend time in the city and then my mom came and then she kind of overlapped with them my grandparents were here for a good amount of time they were here for like eight days or so and just i think because just because everyone's double vax now everyone's able to travel um more safely and you know actually interact with each other now in a safer way so i think everyone's been wanting to travel maybe just within canada and montreal is a good place to come visit for sure so yeah we've been spending a lot of time socializing and obviously love you know love my family but uh there's only you know sometimes you have a max amount of family time that you can spend before you're just like okay i'll see you later <laughs> And especially me, regardless of whether or not it's family or whatever, but I'm just such an introvert. Like, truly the maximum amount of introvert that you can be, it's what I am. And I just feel, like, so exhausted just from, like, being with people and having to, like, interact with people all the time it's just been a lot it's been a lot and i just like ugh, i mentally i'm just like so out of it and you know when you're like i also i also thrive so deeply on routine and just living my life not even like in a in a like overly strict way i just like i'm a person that really loves routine and so when that gets fucked up, especially like in my home, it just, I don't, I, I'm not living the way that I want to be living. So obviously love visiting time, love family time, but I'm happy to get back to my normal life and happy, especially to get back to my, to filming and stuff like that. I'm using my makeup again. Now I'm going to go into the Colored Rain uh, Safari Rain Palette. Going to first take the shade Congo Basin. It's basically like a deeper version of the green that I used in the outer half of my eye. And I'm just going to put that. I'm going to do a halo eye. So I'm just going to put that just in the outer, outer half. Such a lovely, lovely color. It's like a green mixed with a mustard almost. It's so nice. But yeah, my family and I aren't particularly, like, close. We're not, like, a super, super, you know, some families are, like, really, really in it together, you know, call each other every day and have, like, you know, really keep very, very close connection on a daily basis. We're not quite like that. We're obviously, like, you know, close to a certain extent and love each other and stuff, but we're not, like, but we're not, like, super, super interconnected 24 7 you know what I mean so I guess it was nice to be able to catch up and see each other I haven't actually seen my dad since before COVID like the Christmas before COVID so I hadn't seen him in like probably two years so that was nice definitely to catch up with him same with my brother I hadn't I have two brothers but I hadn't seen my um middle brother and also probably the same amount of time and I met his girlfriend for the first time it was a really it was a really nice visit and 
I saw my mom last Christmas, so I've seen her, but I also hadn't seen my grandparents in a really long time, so you know, it was nice, especially with the pandemic, to just like be together with people and you know, like actually have face to face conversations and be able to like touch each other and hug each other. It was really, it was really nice, but it takes more time. Um, to organize things and just to like see everyone when you're a child of divorce. Um, I'm totally joking, my parents got divorced when I was an adult, but having multiple factions of your family, it's like, it's not just one visit, you know? There's like so many different, so many different groups you gotta organize now um, and like spend time with, so. It's been a long month, a good month, but I finally feel like I have a chance to breathe and just get my life kind of back back in order. I, I really sound like I'm complaining, but I, I'm not. I'm just, this is what's been on my mind. This is what's been going on in my life. So I'm just updating you guys. That sounded weird. I'm just updating you guys um, on what's going on. Have you guys been traveling though? I don't know if we will soon it just hasn't really made sense for us in terms of our schedule and stuff to travel outside of the country or really anywhere but we might take a gander on down to Toronto sometime this fall I don't know it's not that far of a drive so we'll see but definitely haven't traveled anywhere internationally now I'm just gonna take the shade clay and put that in the front part of my eye. But I'm lucky that we live in a city that's so varied and diverse and has so much stuff to do, so we can really find a lot to do to occupy ourselves and entertain ourselves, even just within Montreal, so that's been good for this past summer. Definitely been eaten, definitely been drinking a lot eaten a lot of good food. We've truly taken advantage of the fact that we can now eat at restaurants again because I guess we haven't really eaten at restaurants a lot since COVID started. Last summer we did a little bit but nowhere. Not really, like maybe a, f a few times but we've been making up for it and it's been good. Live my best life. I feel like maybe I need to introduce a little bit of balance back into my uh back into my diet and lifestyle, but you know what? We're living free of guilt and self-judgment and I'm just trying to enjoy my food and my life and live it and not, you know, stress about it. Um, and yeah, so it's been good, it's been good, but I'm also ready to embrace fall. I feel like fall is always a time, I feel like winter kind of just like blends into fall and summer kind of blends into spring. But I feel like fall and spring are very transitional times. It feels like the start of a new year. Oh shit, no, nope, that's not what I want. I do not want Congo Basin, I want clay. So I'm excited and I, I love fall. I know that that's so fucking basic, but I just can't bring myself to care, truly. Now I'm going to take the shade Matriarch as I blind you with this palette and I'm going to use this to deepen up my crease. This is such a good palette. I really hope the colored rain brings it back. I think they said, I feel like they said that they would, but I can't really remember exactly off the top of my head. Um, I don't really know what's going on with colored rain. I love them. I love them so much. I know that a lot of people don't like super love their eyeshadow formula. Um, for me it's like amazing and they give me like everything I want. So I hope that you know they come out with stuff again and I feel like they are like maybe rebranding a bit. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing what they what they end up coming out with. Their cream blushes that they just released look interesting. I'm not a huge cream blush person, so I probably wouldn't pick those up, but I'm a large fan of their eyeshadow for sure. Speaking of fans of eyeshadow, 
the new Odin's Eye collection that's coming out. Odin's Eye has like, I've appreciated their aesthetic, you know, I, they're very hyped up. Nothing that they've released has really made me feel like I super want it. Um, a few things have come out that I have like slightly piqued me in my interest, but nothing major. Um, and in general, their color stories are very like light to mid-tone for my taste. So, you know, I've kind of just watched them from afar, but they are doing a collaboration with Tina from The Fancy Face, who you guys know that I love her. We love Tina so, so much. She's one of my favorite creators on YouTube and Annette's Makeup Corner who I watch her videos but I don't like I religiously follow her I don't necessarily like watch everything she does um, and then Judy who I actually um, have never heard of before but I discovered her through this collab and she has some really great content I like how they're all like very different styles and like have very different makeup preferences and obviously the point of the collab is that they come from different backgrounds which I think is awesome but um all three of the palettes are just absolutely beautiful I love all three of the color stories so much um I love the depth that all three creators brought to the palettes I love the color stories that all three of them curated it's truly the first Odin's Eye release that I've been like, yes. And of course it's, you know, limited edition, it's a collaboration, and I've realized that I think my number one weakness, I've actually, with my budget and my low buy that I've been doing, I've curbed um, almost, almost all of my, like, um, purchases of things that go on sale, which I used to be really bad about doing. Um, and browsing for stuff and then finding things that I want to buy, like, I really haven't, like, I've, I've accepted that, you know, I can't buy things and yada, 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 Gen like, in a general way, like, it's, that's something that I've definitely cut down on and have improved on. Limited edition things, specifically, like, limited edition collabs. I, I just like can't, I have a difficult time resisting them because it's like, especially with the Odin's Eye collab, it's like, I know that I, well, I know that I love the color story. I've never tried the formula, but I've heard mostly rave reviews. I know that I would like the palettes and use the palettes and I think they're all like unique color stories and I... I have been intrigued to try Odin's Eye just because everyone has been raving about the formula. And in Tina's video, she said they might do a restock if the demand is there, but like, I don't know. You can never be sure. So it's really like thrown me for a loop because I feel like I keep coming on my channel and being like, I bought this thing and I keep making exceptions but I just I don't know what to do. anyway that's my fucking dilemma of the day okay I'm just gonna quickly cut my crease and I'll be right back but I've talked enough so you don't need to watch me do that all right so I just cut my crease and then I kind of blended some stuff together because I can't stop talking so I just decided to speed the process up now for my lid I'm going to take JD glow 365 because this really feels like fall and an eyeshadow to me so I'm gonna use it today all over my lid I sprayed it and let's just put this glorious shadow on okay so first touch of the brush to my eyelid not the best, but we'll get there. Speaking of buying, yes, I would like the Odin's Eye palettes so much. Okay, so don't judge me if I buy them. 
okay? Um, and I've been watching Hannah Louise post in like no by year. So the first like year of her YouTube channel from I think 2018. I just, I don't know, I was like, let me watch this all the way through because I found her, I think, in like 2020, so like pretty late. Or maybe, yeah, I think it was 2020. Um, and so I was like, let me just, let me see this true journey. And it's been really actually like helpful. I don't necessarily really like struggle with overspending. Like I'm not spending outside of my means. Um, I'm not spending money that I don't have, which I think is part of the issue because I have it. It's in just sitting in my bank account. I'm trying to just save it for other things, but it's like they're sitting there calling to me <laughs> to spend it on pa eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's fine. I mean, in, in a way it is good. Like I, I... I'm not like going into credit card debt. I'm not like spending money I don't have. I'm I'm okay. Um, but it would just be smarter of me to not buy the thing. But when the thing is so beautiful, it's like difficult to resist. But I mean, how much more of a <sighs> pointless problem can you have, really? Now I'm just going to blend these shades onto my lid a little bit. And I'm just going to take a tiny little eyeshadow brush with a tiny bit of Matriarch and just tap this over the edge of the middle of my eye. Now I'm just going to take the shade Snow from the Book of, not Book of Magic, Beauty Bay Wilderness palette and use this to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of 365 on my finger and intensify this on my lid. Holy moly, look at that delicious shade. And that definitely brought up the orangey base as well to this. So pretty. So pretty. I feel like I'm creating the fallest look that's ever been done to be honest i'm just gonna take my maybelline okay first let me zoom you out a little bit more is that okay maybe in a little bit more okay hopefully i'm not too far away i'm gonna take my maybelline fit me concealer just because we don't need to do the most today and then i'm just gonna spot conceal any blemishes because I've been breaking out like a mofo. That feels lame to say. I don't know. I've just been breaking out a fuck ton this month. Or these past couple weeks. You can see my lovely, gigantic lip zit that's been forming. It was truly a horrifying experience to pop it this morning. I like... Felt like I could have been on one of those pimple popping Instagrams. It was like honestly horrific. Now I'm gonna go in with my Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer in the shade Light. This is the cream bronzer that I have currently that I've been using. I think I've talked about it briefly one time in a video, but I have a cream bronzer. I'm on the cream train, you guys. Who am I? I don't know, but I've been loving it. To be honest, I should do a favorites video soon, actually. Okay, I'm going to just set my face and then be back. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is do our lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in with what? Congo Basin, I think, which is the green that I use. And I'm just gonna take this all underneath. Okay. Now I'm going to take the shade Matriarch and just use this to deepen my lash line up. And now, okay, and then I'm just going to take the shade Marigold from the Wilderness Palette, the Beauty Bay Wilderness Palette, and blend it everywhere. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to take Lightyear from Terra Moons because 
I don't know, I think it's like the green, gold, yellow aspect to the shadow, but I just think of fall. So, here we go. And I think it ties in with 365 really, really well. Zooming out, let's finish up my face. So I'm just taking my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium that won't die. And I'm just gonna contour a little bit. And I'm gonna take my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm, I have been very committed to using this up. Which normally I'm not very into panning things, but I feel weirdly determined. I'm gonna spray my face with the dregs of my Maybelline glass spray. For my highlight, I'm gonna take Kaleido Space Age Prophecy. I feel like it perfectly fits in with all of these like orangey, greeny, gold tones that I've used in my eyes. Half my lips are covered in concealer right now. And then for blush, for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Likely Makeup Clown Blush Palette. I'm going to mostly use the shade Carnival, which is the yellow, and then mix it with a tiny, tiny little bit of Contortion, which is the orange. I feel like, okay, I'm going to actually just go in with Carnival because I feel like mixing any of the orange in just automatically makes it look orange. And I want it to look just like yellow. Okay. I am actually have been really into yellow blush. I think it's more wearable, especially now that I don't have a monochromatic yellow look on. I think it looks really, really nice. So now I'm just going to go through my brows with brow gel. This is the Essence Make Me Brow in Soft Brownie Brows. And then I'm going to go in with my Freck XL and just make some freckles. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I was going to end it, but I, I rarely include this. And I thought that I would just because it's part of completing the look for me. So I'm just taking a matte black, why am I, what's this? I'm taking a matte black eyeshadow. This is just a Pat McGrath uh, black single, but I mean, literally any black eyeshadow will work. And I'm just basically taking that on my outer corner and my inner corner and then smoking it out along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take 365 on my pinky and then put that right on my lower lash line in the center. And now I will put my eyeliner and my lashes on. Okay, you guys, and this is the final look I am fall epitomized okay I'm so happy with the way this came out I, like you can't be more fall than me so don't even don't even try um on my lips I actually used an eyeliner as lip liner because I was like I want a dark brown lip liner and I have a dark brown eyeliner and it worked perfectly this is the ColourPop Crumb gel liner in the shade Mr. Bing and I think I'll be exclusively using this as a lip liner from now on because I rarely use it as an eyeliner and it works really well. I blended it out into my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm and then on my lip, my lipstick, this first of all is a travesty. This is highway robbery that this is a hundred points at Sephora. This lipstick, you can't, you know how much money I had to spend? to accumulate points <laughs> and you give me this. Anyway, it's lovely. This is a small, tiny size of the Melt um, Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade 710 and I'm going, I already know that I'm going to sorely, sorely miss this when I use it up and that it will soon become a frequent rotation in my lipstick wearing because I am um, obsessed with this, I love it. I think it's so nice. And 
yeah, you already know everything else except my lashes are Bold Face Makeup Forget Me Not. Love it. I'm obsessed. Look at me and my mustard shirt, my mustard eyes, my green eyes. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you enjoyed getting followed with me. <laughs> And that you made it through my endless rambling about things I can't even remember what I talked about. <sighs> Thank you so much for sticking with it. If you made it to the end of this video, I have no idea how long it's going to be. And um, I hope to see you next time, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.